station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Nilifer Ramji. Recent results from a study on astronauts' Earth photography and a very busy march is ahead of us. Activity continues aboard the space station. A picture is worth a thousand words, but images from the Crew Earth observation experiment have value that is beyond words. Crew members aboard the space station use a wealth of digital cameras to record how the planet is changing over time. One study used satellite imagery and data pulled from crew photographs to computationally model nighttime light. It provides a unique perspective of light spectrum signatures and the difference between outdoor lamp types, resulting in statistical maps of the relative contribution of different lamp types. You can access more than 3 million astronaut-taken Earth images online, thanks in large part to the Crew Earth Observations experiment. There is an old proverb that the month of March comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. Well, the opposite can be said for this March, at least in human spaceflight. Activities on orbit start to rev up on March 15th when Kayla Barron and Raja Shari step out of the airlock to prepare the station for the next installment of the IROSA power channels. As always, you can see the spacewalk on NASA TV, NASA.gov, or the NASA app. We will have a preview of all spacewalk activities for the month when we host a briefing from Houston. March 15th will also mark a milestone as NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei will surpass Scott Kelly as the U.S. record holder for the longest single space flight. A few days later, on March 18th, the Soyuz MS-21 crew launches from the Baikonur Cosmodrome and arrives to the space station just two orbits later. Then, the crew is outside the space station again on March 23rd for another U.S. spacewalk, where they will replace the radiator beam valve module hoses. On March 30th, the undocking and landing of Soyuz MS-19 will return NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei and Russian cosmonaut Pyotr Dubrov to Earth following the American record of 355 days in space. And finally, at the end of the month, the launch from Florida of the Axiom Space AX-1 mission, the first all-private crew to visit the space station. You can stay updated on everything on station by following us on Twitter at space underscore station. That's Spacetogram for this week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.